How's it going guys? So right now you're just simply watching, you know, Anthem gameplay in the background, but I wanted to talk about two specific games that were developed by uh, pretty much of the same company, well, same developers. I know, I understand that pretty much by where they have separated the two studios and one was working on the Andromeda, Mass Effect Andromeda, and the other is the Anthem. So the main Bioware team that have developed like the once and the best types of games, Mass Effect games, you know, the trilogy that are considered to be one of those fantastic games as well. Uh, well, not one of them, there are like all of them except the ending of the third one. But anyway, basically that just, you know, wrap things up and says a lot of things that a lot of expectations were high up in the air for Anthem especially. After when people started realizing that Andromeda, or Mass Effect Andromeda, was not being developed by the very same team or the developers. In fact, it was just more of a supporting role, you know, like a second team. So basically, what's funny thing regarding this <laughs> is just that the second team, the guys that are not proper like the developers of uh, Mass Effect Trilogy, they managed to do a better job than the main team of Mass Effect Trilogy made Anthem. So, what I'm trying to tell you that Mass Effect Andromeda is a definite better game than Anthem. That's what I'm talking about, of course, on the day one aspect of things. One and the main big reason why this is the case, because you can clearly see and feel uh, that Anthem is completely not finished at all. I'm 100% certain that there was a reboot or something has happened or there was a pause and some kind of delay in Anthem and they could not develop it fully. Six years, seven years in the making? No, it wasn't. It was probably more like 12 to 16 months. And I think they just made these, you know, the most the biggest things that Anthem needed, the most work that I needed. And that's it, they just put it on the delay and delay and delay it for a couple of years for certainty. No way this game was in the development for six, seven years. If that's the case, if that's how the team was making Anthem for six, seven years, Anthem, and there were no delays, no reboots, perhaps there were some reboots, but whatever, right? That's con that's concerning so much, the fact that pretty much Bioware are never gonna make any more good games in the future. Dragon Age, whatever the game's coming out, and they also confirmed that Bioware, um, you know, the Mass Effect games are not dead, and so they will perhaps get in touch, get in back into those games like Mass Effect Andromeda, and a continuation, maybe from the trilogy continuation, whatever, right? Yeah, just don't expect it to be a good game. I'm saying don't even expect it to be an okay game. Expect it a bad game. That's it. I'm not talking about this regarding because you should have very high expectations because this is a Bioware. So you should be very disappointed coming from Bioware. No, 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 no. I mean from a developer themselves. Don't think it's a Bioware, alright? They're just, they're, uh, you know, out there normal developers. That's it. Bioware currently is right now. Why would you think that the Bioware that we all know and love, like the old great Bioware, why would you think that they would make something like Andromeda or Anthem and such a disaster fuck and got disgusting two games, you know what I mean? Why would they create something like this after such a phenomenal time that everyone had with Mass Effect 1, Mass Effect 2 and, you know, part of it, Mass Effect 3 as well. And so, yeah, basically what I'm trying to tell you Mass Effect is... Uh, well, maybe not Mass Effect. Actually, I should say that. Mass Effect, Andromeda, Dragon Age, and all their Bioware games in the future are all dead and gone for certainty. They're all never going to be good uh, anyway. Bioware are gone. They're not the same team. A lot of people left. A lot of developers left. Remember when, they, when, they, when there were so many concerns why the developers are leaving Bioware? Hmm. That kind of already... S the answer is right there. <laughs> I don't know what you were expecting, but this is the fact. People that leave because they say, because they finished up with the project, so they can do whatever they wish, the continuation of the project, or whatever, do whatever else, or, or they wanna leave and, you know, uh, find something new or different challenges or whatsoever, new different job types of jobs, for example. And if that's the case, okay, sure, but no, this was not the case. I think they were just jumping the ship because they already knew it was going to crash into the iceberg, just like Titanic. Typical, right? Anyway, basically, uh, a lot of people who have dived into the water, they survived. A lot of people who uh, were on a ship, they sank with it. Basically, uh, <laughs> oh my God. I'm surprised the way I managed to diverse myself into the uh, conversation regarding Bioware. 
typical. Anyway, I won't get back into the topic of hand of the Andromeda and the Anthem. Just saying that Andromeda was a lot more fixed and a lot more polished up game than Anthem was ever, perhaps ever going to be. And no, that's not the case because this is a life based uh, service game, so they are going to keep updating it. Updating yet, even even though there is no qual um, confirmation that Bioware are not going to get shut down by EA. Yeah, right. You're gonna tell me that the developers said it themselves. No, EA is not gonna shut them down. Pfft. Yeah, right. Where did we not hear that from? Pfft. They have no words. They don't have the definite, definitive answer in this. EA are the ones that are pulling the strings. Bioware are not in compare. You know what I mean? They are the publishers. EA, that what matters. E Bioware are the ones that creators, the developers. And sure, perhaps Bioware never had enough time to create Anthem, but you know, it's a disaster fuck. So what do you expect? And when Andromeda came out, the guys who were not making Mass Effect Trilogy, they managed to pull off something better than the main team of Bioware managed to do. Now that's just, you know, brings out all con kinds of concerns and warnings regarding this future of Bioware. Basically, if you want to say, long story short, Andromeda is a better, much better in fact, game than Anthem is. And, uh, well, at least at the moment. I want to mention that Andromeda is definitely was even better on day one because even though they have very bad facial expressions and so many other bugs and glitches and so many faults and problems, not not to compare with Anthem. Anthem has far, far, far more problems than Andromeda ever had. They, you know, they've tried to fix a little bit of Andromeda issues like facial expressions and the animations. They have done it so in Anthem somewhat, but still soulless world that is so boring to explore it's not interesting you know really what did they do they didn't do shit diddly shit <laughs> anyway i don't know i don't know i feel like i'm just rambling on as well uh perhaps maybe you could tell me in the comments which is the better game andromeda or anthem uh i understand as well one other thing that you can't really do a comparison between these these two games even though it was made by some developer not really <laughs> But basically, uh, yeah, I know, I clearly understand. A lot of the, if you did not know, a lot of the um, things that came from Mass Effect Andromeda is actually here in Anthem, if you did not know that. Like, for example, dodging, boosting, and sort of this stuff, you know, it's all there. The shooting, if you, even somewhat feels the same as it did in Andromeda. Even though, um, you know, there's a lot more to it to in Anthem that you can fly, for example, a lot of diversity as well. And uh, I, per I personally think that the world in, you know, Andromeda could have been, like, perhaps done it better than it was. But, I mean, I think Anthem does it better as the open world title of the game. Because, you know, the free mode that you can explore and do whatever you want. Even though it's kind of fucking boring. You can't really do anything, anything you want. Oh god, there's so many problems when I'm realizing it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna drag this video on for 10 minutes, what do you expect, because the adverts and stuff and YouTube algorithm, I can't speak, but what do you expect, what do you expect? It's just that Anthem is a major fuck, major disaster, I don't know why were the buy were thinking of what they were doing, it's just insane. Perhaps maybe it was EA fault, but who are the developers of the games, Bioware? All right, well, uh, take it as a confirmation, basically. I don't want to say a fact because this is not a fact, obviously, but just just don't expect any more Bioware good games. Don't even expect an okay game. Just expect a mediocre type of title, 5 out of 10, that's that. And if you're a fanboy, I'm sure you're going to go like 7 or 8 out of 10. Oh my god, that would be freaking ridiculous to expect, like, from Anthem, an 8 out of 10. What? <laughs> I've seen so many reviews as well. 8 out of 10. What? Andromeda, I think, oh no, I didn't even give it a review. Oh, fun fact, I will be making a review of Andromeda <laughs> as a, a two years anniversary. So yeah, I'm not going to be uh, stating too much of my opinions in there, I'm just going to be stating out the facts. And um, yeah, I'm going to be making a proper review, uh, just like I do usually on all of the games. Um, this is going to be like a two anniversary for Anthem. Sorry, Andromeda, I'm not too sure why I said Anthem, but yeah. Please do expect that, that would be pretty cool uh, for you to take a look as well. It's going to be longer than 10 minutes for certainty. I'm not going to go bother with the 30 minutes mark or 40 minutes. It's going to be a little bit too far and too insane, but it's going to be well done for sure. Anyway, 
Can't wait for that. Hopefully you can't either. Uh, tell me down in the comments if you would like or dislike Anthem or so goes or vice versa perhaps for the Andromeda. And uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Have an awesome day. And yeah, have a good one. You casting on my